And it's Thursday morning at OFR. And uh, Shay, she's a helper that comes by. I just met her. And she'll be here. And of course, Hoover. Just going to do some odds and end work today. You know, just what we do every day. There's something different we got to do. And I think we're heading to the East Coast, the 6th and 7th. That's going to be the dates for the East Coast. At least that's what we're trying to set up. 6th and 7th of August. So we got to get the trailer lights working on the van too here this week. So we got a few jobs. We got to, we got all kinds of projects going. All right, you guys stay tuned. All right, so we finally got some more staples. So, and Rich got the rest of the grass. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this trim and get it taken care of. Okay. So we got that bar. I was able to stand on that, but now Rich went to get the ladder so we can finish the rest of it. And then it'll all be finished. Well, we still have to get this over here, but we have to insulate that part first before we can do it. All right, we got the rest of the grass put up and finally done. We, all we gotta do is, just gonna put a two by four down through here and here and rehang those uh, tools we use for the thing over here. The ones here. The other piece actually goes to that sectional that we found that he made and put together, that kitchen stuff, and we put that inside the house. I'll show you that a little later. Now we're going to go into the house, into the basement, because supposedly the shower and the sink or whatever are leaking. I'm good at plumbing, so I'm going to go take a look, see what we need to fix that. All right, this is the bathroom downstairs, and Hoover's wanting to use it. Uh, this thing, you can't even turn the handle on. So we can possibly rebuild this. I'm not sure it's pretty old. If not, it'll have to be replaced. But we can't get the handles off, nor can we get the handles off of this. I took the screws out. They have a plumber's tool that it's kind of like a gear puller, but it's made for handles, for plumbing. I got one. I'm gonna have to bring that back so we can take them off, get them rebuilt. The valves are up here and they're all pretty good, except for the back valve. This one, the seat. Uh, the seat, I believe, is probably all right, but the uh, washer itself is no good. So I got those at home as well. I'll bring some of them. I'll test the seat because these seats pretty much are built in, and I don't think it's removable like it is in a faucet. Uh, but hopefully we can just put a new thing on there, and it'll be good. But in the meantime, they what they did is they put another valve here to shut it off for the shower, and they stuck this valve in you know, for over there. So if I turn that one on, you'll see it leaks hot water into the sink over there. If I was to turn this one on, then it leaks hot water in here. And of course the cold, it's good and it doesn't leak, but if we turn it on, it leaks in here. So we got to get the, those things fixed. So I'll have to bring my equipment over to do that. So that's going to have to wait for another day. <laughs> So you get them all then? No, I'm curious. There's another way to get to that third one, right? Mm, you can't climb underneath and come up that way. Climb yeah, that's the way I usually do it. I'll show you how you can get up under there. But she's cleaning all the uh, shack koi tanks for us. There's algae on that middle one that I can't get at all. All right. Ooh. Yeah, the albino oh, cat just came up and said, hey, guys. And look at that. They got one of the uh, Melodistic uh, Gars in there. He's just enjoying himself. So much room, he doesn't know what to do. And Hoover and Big Rich are working on the side, cleaning up some of the stuff on the side of the house. They just brought all these lights in. Or actually, are these the new ones we just got? Yeah, we just got four brand new ones. And these two and these two are brand new. Well, so we're in the back back here just cleaning up some of the tanks, lights, all the different stuff. Yeah. Alright, we got most of the back straightened up, got rid of uh, the whole thing was full. But we went through everything, put stuff away, threw stuff away. I got me a little 10 gallon I want to get so I can put the baby plecos in and you know before they all disappear on me <laughs> see if I can grow some out but yeah we got a lot of it done all right we emptied everything out of that that was right around the corner by Hoover and we got it in here 
So the only thing sitting out here is the one I'm taking home and that there. Everything else is gone. Well, I told people I'm grabbing this for those plecos, the baby plecos I got. And that's for Dawn. No. How long before you move the baby plecos? Yeah, any, whenever. You should go grab a sponge filter out of our stuff and put it in your tank now so that three weeks from now it'll be charged and you can put it in that little tank with your, your baby fish. Actually, okay, yeah. Look at these guys coming around. I think I'm going to feed them. <laughs> Good luck on that. All right. But almost time to get home here pretty soon. See how these guys are doing. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's so cool. You see one tooth. Yeah, they're doing just fine, aren't they? They're going to be so awesome when they grow up. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> okay. And Rich has been filming. He's got like 90% of that baby done. And we're going to get it over here soon. And within, I don't know, a week or two, we can get the thousand outside and get it over here and get it set up. Well, we'll have the Dwight Howard tank from over there, over here, and then the thousand is going to go over there. So we're going to be doing that pretty soon, too. Yeah, that under footage, uh, underwater footage that Greg took was awesome. I'd really like to get a case so I could take my phone underwater and do that. However, Big Rick just bought a new Pro uh, GoPro 10 that does go underwater. So maybe uh, I'll try and get some underwater footage again. I know I tried once, but all I did was get a lot of close-ups of those gars because they were quite hungry that day. But we'll see what we can do. And uh, Rich is complaining that the uh, middle one, you know, is dying. I told him it was going to die. Uh, they had it strictly in water, and it's a bulb. And it's an elephant ear. I mean, the, we've had them sitting on things, but not directly in water. So I don't know if it's going to come back up or not. We'll have to wait and see. All right, well, let's go in and say hi to a few of the fish real quick, and then I'm going to get my butt out of here. We got four new lights. Maybe uh, when I come back, we'll empty some of this and get back in like I did before and get these lights replaced. Um, Rich did uh, test the lights on the Bellagio over there that have been blinking. It is the power pack. So uh, we're going to just replace the power pack and that should be fine there. Okay. And I got me another 110. He had some extra parts. And he keeps those there. We put together another 110 so I can put that on the 125. Oh, these guys made a mess in here, didn't they? Ooh, boy. Gosh, we're going to have to climb in there. Somebody can climb in there and fix that, but... Yeah, they made a mess. What's up, big boy? Yeah, you're real curious today, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. Anybody out and about today? Okay. Let's go check out on the new mommy, see how she's doing. Well, it's going to be a mommy, I hope. Yeah, she's beautiful. What's up, honey? That would be cool to see baby stingrays. I've never seen that before. Except for the ones that came in prematurely from, uh, you know, scientific biology. Or stingray. Okay. All right, guys, it's time for me to get my butt home, so I think I'm going to do just that. Go in here, get home, make an ending, get this thing put out. And Big Rich is going to put his first video out of Putin Bay. Uh, well, mine comes out tomorrow, then his will come out the day after, and then I finally get to do mine. So, all right, so you guys stay tuned, so we got some really, really good videos of Putin Bay coming up. All right, I'm going to go home, get that 10-gallon I just grabbed from Rich, get that baby set up, and get them baby plecos moved over before I lose them all. All right, I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, we got a lot of good things coming up, including the East Coast trip, but we got like four videos coming up of the, uh, uh, you know, Coyote Peterson and Greg Woodstock and us being up there. It was awesome, including the helicopter ride that me and Greg went on. In the meantime, 
couple people have been asking about Don's loaches because they don't normally come out unless they're being fed. And right now they're all out, but Dawn's getting ready to feed them. So I thought we'd show you because as soon as she opens it up, look, <laughs> she hadn't even opened it yet. <laughs> there they are, waiting on her. <laughs> put those down. So obviously they're going to go nuts, but now we'll give it a minute or two, but the loaches should come out, no problem. And then somebody was asking again, uh, is that a Madagascar lace plant? Yes, it is. In fact, she got it to bloom twice. And, oh, look at, look at that. Look at that. No time. There they are. See? They're there. No problem. And more will come out. They come, there's another one coming out. There's another one hiding his head over there. And there's some in the back. Yep. So, yeah, there they are, people. But in the meantime, you guys see loaches, everybody, they're out there. So are the uh, shrimp, they're in here as well. Uh, in fact, there's one right there. All right, everybody, you guys stay fishy, my friend. Hit that like, subscribe, and we'll go deeper with the reaper.